one thing that that I think in the early days of social media, where where actually a lot was about digital influence, where where people said uh, if you reach the influencers, then you know basically these people have the ability to influence every, everybody else, uh, which which I think led us slightly to. Uh, actually, the traditional work way world of, of public relations, where you try to reach out to a few influencers, who then you know write their article in a newspaper, and then hopefully many other people will read it. One thing that became very clear in this report that that we did is that uh, you know it it actually is is much flatter than than you would probably think or, or have thought in in the past because uh, out of these these people that that use social media, actually 50% of them, they, they do share and they do initiate and they are actually people that influence others. And obviously there's some people that are more influential than others because they have more friends or they have a wider uh, network of people that they can reach. But I think the notion for brand is that if 50% of the people that you talk to actually will share information that you provide uh, to them with other people, actually uh, the, the, these are very powerful intermediaries and, and the way you talk to them and the tools and the content you provide to them has to be in a, in a way so it encourages them to share and pass it on. And, and if you think about it, if 50% of the people that you reach actually pass on and discuss about your brand with other people, you basically double your reach. So uh, that is actually a, a quite powerful uh, notion and something to have to have in the back of your head when you design a campaign because it has to be designed to actually be interactive and be something that you you pass on and and content uh, consumers you know pass on content and they comment on content uh, only if actually the content is relevant to them and if it provides some value to them so so uh, something to keep in the back of your head.